So the new format for the videos, which we're going to follow, is we're going to start by looking back on the extend task from yesterday. So if you've done that, hopefully that'll be really helpful. And if you haven't, that's all right, but it'll be like a little reminder. Um, and then today is about some of the digits challenges. So I'll explain what I mean by the sum of the digits. It's really, really good for them getting us involved in today's problem solving task. So I'm going to start today by going back to yesterday's extend task. And that was around making 423. Now, what we typically do to make 423 is see two, three, four hundreds, um, two tens, so that's 20, and three ones. And that'd be like a normal way of making 423. And now we also explored this really important idea that 10 ones there, and trust me, there's 10 in that pile, uh, they're just about staying together, and one 10, that's the same amount. When I get up to this many ones, I just replace them with a 10, and that's kind of um, our place value system. And then equally, when I get to 10 tens, I can just replace them with 100, and they're the same. Um, now, one of the uh, questions asked, what's the fewest coins you can use to make 423? Well, this is the fewest coins that I could use. So four, six, nine coins there. How can it be made with 18 coins? So let me give you an example. What, what I might do is just take away, if I take away one of the hundreds, then that's one less coin. And I need to put 10 more tens in to make the same amount there. So I've got three hundreds and I've got 12 tens and I've got three ones. And so how many coins have I got all together? Well, there's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 coins. Now we also said, how could you do that? Um, for example, using 27 coins. Um, now say, for example, one thing that I could do, and there's different possibilities, but if I think, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take away one of these tens, I'm gonna put in 10 more ones, and in total, I've put in nine more coins in total, because I took one 10 away, I put 10 coins in, in total there's nine more coins than there were. There were 18 coins, now there's 27 coins. And what do I have? I've got three hundreds, I've got 11 tens, and I've got 13 ones. That's just one of the ways it could have been done. So our main challenge today is called the sum of the digits. Um, first of all, we'll explain what we mean by the sum of the digits, because that's something you might well not have ever come across before. And then we're going to use that to do a place value investigation, which is going to be really good. Um, so if you have a look at these numbers, if I was to ask you to order those numbers, um, of course, 97 is the smallest because it's a two digit number, then 113, a three digit number, and then 2001 because it's a four digit number. Now to work out the sum of a number's digits, what I basically do is just take the digits that are used to make the number, break them up and add them up. So 113, uh, the sum of the digits is one plus one plus three, it's five. The sum of the digits for 97 is 16, uh, nine plus seven. And the sum of the digits for 2001 is three. Two plus zero plus zero plus one equals three. So for example, despite being the largest number, 2001 has got the smallest some of the digits. So your turn. So for each number, how many digits and what is the sum of the digits? Uh, pause the video and have a go. Okay, and let's have a look. Um, so 561, uh, some of the digits there, 5 plus 6 plus 1 equals 12. Um, 1056, well the sum of the digits is 12 as well. Um, and it uses the same digits, of course, but there's also this zero, which doesn't change the digit sum. And then 89, some of the digits there is 17. Um, so despite being the smallest number, it has the largest digit sum of these three numbers. Um, so here we go. The sum of the digits for a number is eight. Um, so see if you can write down some different numbers that, that it could be here. Um, some larger, some smaller. Um, so pause the video and have a go. Okay, and I'm going to show you just a few examples that you could have had. Uh, this is what it, it could have been. Uh, 53, um, because 5 plus 3 is 8. 521, like 53 in terms of the sum of the digits, except this 3 is split into a 2 and a 1. Um, it could be 4,004. Uh, of course, it could be 4 billion and 4 as well. That would still have a digit sum of 8. And 17, the smallest two-digit number that it, it could be there. Now that leads us into our challenge today. The sum of the digits for a whole number is six. All the digits are different in, the, in this number. 
So what is the smallest that the number could be? And what is the largest that the number could be? Now, I'm not going to give you six as one of the numbers. It has to be at least a two-digit number. Um, but have a go and pause the video. And when we play again, you're going to see some um, example solutions there. Now, only have a look at this part when you've had a really good go at that task. I wonder how you've got on. So to make the smallest possible number, how can we go about doing that? Well, it's got to be a two digit number and I want the tens value to be as small as it possibly can be. That's the kind of key. Um, so there, 15. Um, because I, where, where I have a sum of the digits of six, um, to make the tens value as small as possible, I can make it a one and then that makes the ones value a five. Now, to make the largest possible number, um, use as many digits as possible. That's the key. So rather than using larger digits, I want to be able to use more digits because that's what makes my number larger. And remember, you can use the digit zero, but we can't repeat a zero because we could only have one. Um, so the digits that I would use would be zero, one, two, and three, because the sum of those digits is six. Uh, then I just need to think about the order. I'd want to go largest to smallest when I'm arranging those digits, uh, left to right, so I get the number as, as big as it can possibly be, 3,210. Now uh, to find the today's extend task, click on the blue link underneath the video uh, and it will bring this up, this short little prompt for you to have a go at. Um, the sum of the digits for a whole number is 11. All the digits are different. What are the what's the largest that a number could be and what's the smallest that a number could be? So there is a challenge that's going to push you forward. I'd love to know that, see that. Can you find that solution? We're going to have a look at it and um, start of tomorrow's video and it's going to move us forward. The answers are at the bottom, but this is a really good challenge. We are going to keep digging into this problem solving and going further and further as we go on over the course of this week. I will see you back tomorrow. I'm going to be ready for it. I'm sure you will be too.